As we're all getting more and more excited for the Rust Cosmic desktop release coming soon, there's been plenty of updates and big news to share today, including how Cosmic is spreading to even more distributions, including another mainstream one, which we'll be covering later in the video. First off, some exciting theming support being shown off by Jeremy. I've adjusted the Cosmic Editor into the terminal to take custom window background colors from the Cosmic theme when they are using Cosmic Syntax theme. Here's my Doom theme. Let's check out that Doom theme a little closer here. I like these attention to details. As you can see, if you have a theme set up for your background, other applications can and will take on that theming support. For example, if you decided to highlight the current use window in red, like you can see here, if you have a theme set up, there will be ways to set that and allow the entire desktop to follow the same theming support. This is looking great. It definitely gets me excited to be able to do custom theming support and to see how much access we get to actually customizing our own themes. Moving on to the next update, about pages have been added in. That way we can see what version that we're currently on for whatever application that we're using inside of the Cosmic Desktop environment, definitely following the overall theme that we've seen. And for you laptop users, there's a bunch of new touchpad options in the settings panel, things like primary button settings, touchpad settings, enabling touchpad acceleration, disabling your touchpad when you're typing, different click behaviors, scrolling behaviors, and even swiping behaviors. As a ton of us use notepads or laptops, this is an exciting development to finally see a little bit of the control that we have over our touchpads. Are there things that you can think about that would be nice to be able to control on the touchpads? Make sure to post in the comment section below. Let's continue on to even more developments. Here's a great picture supplied by Michael from the System76 team, who's working on resolving theming issues, including font rendering issues, such as this dark text. You can notice on the right-hand side, for example, over here, the text is almost hard to read between the gray background and the black text that appears. But on the right-hand side, that font has been optimized so that it's, in my opinion, much more readable you can also tell things like in the menu, how the text tends to pop even more. This is in their Cosmic Editor. And a lot of applications have received similar font optimizations. This is what I love about the System76 team. They're hyper-focused on the little things, such as the user experience. A great change and improvement made here. It's also been done in the Cosmic Terminal. You can notice on the left-hand side how it's just a little hard to see some of the text and then how it pops over here on the right hand side. It's also been updated in here. Love the font. I love the way it's displayed on the background. And if you love getting these updates, make sure to smash that like button for me as we continue on and are getting close to talking about the exciting announcement. But more improvements have been made to theming support, such as these stacked windows. The text and theming here, especially on the light theme, has been fixed. For example, these tabbed stacks have more prominent tab names. That way we can tell what exactly we're using. Plenty of quality of life improvements here. But now I want to talk about the Rust Cosmic desktop environment moving continuously over to more and more Linux distributions, including Redox OS. That's right. You're seeing this screenshot on Redox, which is exciting for all you users currently using it. Of course, this is a work in progress as the Cosmic application slowly get ported over to Redox and other operating systems, including Acai Linux, Nix OS, Redox OS, but there's a large mainstream one with an exciting announcement. Yes, that's right. Help wanted for the Fedora Cosmic spin. What is this? Well, the Rust Cosmic desktop is coming to Fedora. There's been many conversations here and seemingly a lot of interest to move the Cosmic Rust desktop over to Fedora and create a new desktop spin, which is a very exciting thing as Fedora is one of the mainstream distributions. It looks like people are trying to band together to also port it over to Fedora. Let's read about it real quick. Thank you to everyone who has expressed interest in seeing a Fedora Cosmic and Cosmic Atomic spin come to life. There has been a ton of excitement for this idea since it was mentioned on Fedora community spaces, news outlets, YouTube videos, big thanks to Ryan ABX for leading the charge and initiative and hyper real for making the original post. As with most things in the Fedora project, 
Things exist because there is a community of contributors who can come together to make it happen. We manifest things to existence. Fedora, Cosmic, and Ryan's work can go far, but only if it's supported by more people. If you want to see Fedora, Cosmic happen, pitching in is the best way to make it so. That's right, they're looking for more contributors here for the Cosmic Fedora spin. If you want to check this out, I'll post a link in the comment section below so you can check out the project and the GitHub re repository. It's a great time to get into the project. There's plenty of things you can do, such as testing, writing documentation, or actually writing code, but you'll definitely want to check this out as it's an exciting opportunity to contribute. So below here are the priority tasks that they're that the team is trying to check off right away, including leadership and participation help. If you have led or participated in Fedora SIG before or would like to help manage resources for one, please join the Matrix room and introduce yourself. Packaging and especially maintaining RPMs for Cosmic. If you have any packaging or maintaining experience or would like to learn and would like to help improve the packaging for Cosmic, our goal is to have all Cosmic RPMs compliant with the Fedora packaging guidelines. A work in progress of spec files can be find, found here and RPMs themselves are in the COPAR here and then contributing to Cosmic's development. If you are a Rust programmer, app developer, translator, or you would like to contribute documentation, join the Pop! OS Cosmic development chat and also check out the Pop! OS repos on GitHub. There's always a place where you can contribute and developers are kind when it comes to pull requests. They don't have to be perfect from the get-go. The contributors will help you get there. So for many of you who have expressed interest in contributing to open source, here's your opportunity. As this project is a total work in progress, starting out fresh, they're looking for everyone and anyone from different skill, skill levels. I've seen a lot of you comment in the comment section below, so make sure to check out this project if you're still willing to contribute. We'll also shout out a few more people here, Carl W. George, Decathorpe, and Guma, and also thanks to Draculix, A Honey Bun, and MM Stick for helping out in the project. This is exciting to see as Cosmic is being put into the RPMS. The project has already begun. Again, check this out by looking in the description below. What do you think about the Rust Cosmic desktop spreading to other distributions? Do you want to predict which one's next? Put it in the comment section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.